Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Outlook 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to automatically reply to messages. Let's get started. So setting up an email auto reply in Outlook is pretty easy, and usually you'll do it when you leave the office. So if I know that I'm not going to be in the office until Monday, I may want to set up my auto reply. So to set up auto reply or to create an auto reply message within Outlook, first thing you need to do is go to the file tab. Up here in the file tab, you'll see the info pane. Now, you should look at your email address right here and just make sure it says Microsoft Exchange. As long as you have Exchange, you can set up an auto reply. So automatic replies are for when you're out of the office and you use them to notify people that you are out of the office or on vacation or not available to respond to email messages. You click right here on auto, automatic replies. That'll open up this box right here. It'll have your email address listed and then it will by default be set to do not send automatic replies. You need to click on this box right here to turn it on. Now you have an option of choosing to send auto replies. All right, so if I want to send auto replies, I'm going to, uh, for a specific time range, I'm going to turn this on and I'll go ahead and leave it on from the time that it is now, which should be the default. And then I can choose the date that I return. Let's say that I'm coming back on Monday morning. So I'm gonna choose Monday and I'm going to change the time to say 8 a.m. And then I could choose right down here what I want it to say. Now keep in mind that the tab for inside my organization is set up. Now this is going to be the reply to people that respond to you within your company. So if it's someone within your company, it may be more casual or you may want a different response uh, than if it's somebody outside of your company. I've got a preset response here that says, thank you for your email. I'll be out of my office and we'll be back on Monday. During this time period, I'll have limited access to my email. And then it says for immediate ex uh, assistance, please contact me on my cell phone and then best regards and my name. That's great. Okay, so that's for people inside of my organization. Now I'm going to click on the tab for outside my organization. Now I have an option to auto reply to people outside of my organization. I could turn that on or off. If I don't run a reply to them, auto reply to them, then I would turn that off. If I do, then I'll turn this on. And then I could choose do I want to reply to only people in my contacts or do I want to reply to anyone? I'll choose anyone for this scenario and I'll go ahead and add in that text that I had before. But let's say that since it's people outside of my organization and anyone could get this information, I don't want it to have my cell phone contact info. And so I'll go ahead and remove that and it just tells them when I'll be back. Then I click OK. Now you'll see that this will, box will turn yellow. That tells me that auto replies are on and I could click back. One thing that I like to do is test to make sure my auto reply is working. And so uh, to test the auto reply, I'm gonna go to the home tab, new group, and I'm going to type or I'm going to click on new email and then right here under two I'm going to go ahead and type in my email address alright so after I type that in this will be an email to myself to myself so I'm going to type in test auto reply and then in the message I'll just put hi alright there we go so I'm going to test this I double check to make sure that everything's written correctly and I click send after I click send, I'll give it a couple seconds and I should see the new email come in. If not, I could go up here to the top left where it says send and receive all folders. Click that for Outlook to check a little bit faster. All right, so that email should be coming in. There it is. So it's testing the auto reply. There's the actual message that got sent. Now I need to check to make sure that the actual auto reply was sent and it might have been sent to my junk email by default. And I see, sure enough, there it is. Thank you for your email. I'll be out of my office and back on Monday. Okay, so there's my auto reply. So it got sent to my junk email, so you might want to check inside of that folder just to make sure. And there we go. All right, so we know that it's working correctly. To turn it off, all you have to do is go right here to turn off. So you would do that when you would come back into the office, or alternatively, you could go back to the file tab, click turn off right here, or you could even click auto replies and click do not send auto replies and click OK and that'll turn it off as well. And now it, my auto reply is turned off. So that's how you turn on and off your auto reply in Outlook 2016. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, put it in the comment section below and I'll do my best to respond to you and try to help you out. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.